Hello, Tanner. How are you feeling? Cobra Kai premiere. Good. Uh, overwhelmed a bit, but in a good way. <laughs> There's just a lot. There's a lot, but it's great. How long did it take you to get ready? Uh, I started getting ready at 3.30, and I got in the car at, I believe, 6.30. Three hours. Yeah. Yeah, it's just very picky about everything. You know, I like the eyebrow slit. Was that for t just tonight? Uh, no, I just did this the other day, and I was like, I kind of want to wear glitter. So <laughs> my makeup artist was like, let's put glitter in the eyebrow in the eyebrow cut. I was like, sure, great, let's go for it. Now you, now you're all fitted up. You haven't posted on Instagram since March 30th. So do you think you'll get a post now that you know you have all this? Uh, yeah, there'll probably be a post. There'll probably be a post. I wait. I don't like taking pictures of myself. I always feel odd taking pictures of myself, so I wait for like pictures that people have taken of me, I guess. So most likely we will. I love this outfit, so I think it, yeah, I'll make sure that make the gram. This one will make the gram, yeah. Hundred percent. Now you have five seasons under your belt. So how do you how do you feel just seeing all the fans here today and just knowing that, you know, you're about to take the world by storm again? It's 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 intense, it's crazy, but it's it's so awesome to see everybody here and just everybody knowing and like Wanted to say hi, but we're obviously moving a lot and wanted to do everything. But it's so incredible to see everybody here. I, th this is way more than what I expected. So it's really, really cool. A lot of people are commenting about Robbie and Miguel scenes, the fight scene that's in the trailer. So you don't have to spoil anything, but how was filming that scene? Uh, it was awesome. Very tiring. Uh, probably shot that. I think we shot that scene for about 12 hours. Um, so it's a very... It's a very, very fun fight. We put a lot of, a lot of work into it, uh, knowing, obviously, the last time that we fought. There's, there's, there's always, it's always a very interesting time when, when Robbie and Miguel fight, and we had to make sure it was, uh, very, mu I guess, much better than what we've already done in the past. So. Is it hard to top the fights? Because you fought for so long. It is hard to top the fights. Uh, thank God we have such an incredible stunt coordinator and fight coordinator. Uh, Ken and uh, Don Lee, uh, they they are, sorry, I guess, Ken Bearfield and Don Lee. They are incredible at their job and add so much to each and every fight uh, that, you know, we really want to be able to do this show without them. So kudos to them. They're the ones, they're the ones, they're the, mas behind, uh, the masterminds behind that. And how would you rate your fighting styles from season one to now? Uh, season one, I was like, oh, I can do this. I'm good at this. And then I like, I'll go back and watch season one now and I'll go, oh my God, I was terrible. Uh, so I think I'm a lot, lot better than what I was in season one compared to now, but I still obviously have a lot more to learn. So I'll just keep going at it. Why not? And if you could add anybody to the season, a guest star, who would it be? Add anyone to guest star? Uh, oh boy. Um, within the Karate Kid universe, or just like no, anyone? anyone, literally anyone. Dave Grohl, uh, I love Dave Grohl. He's like, I don't get starstruck by anybody except for Dave Grohl. So I definitely, so Dave Grohl. <laughs> Throw him in there, you can fight him. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much and congratulations. How is it seeing everybody out here? It's so awesome. Khalil, who plays Chris, he flew in from Chicago to surprise me. I was so excited about that. That was super cool. No, yeah, it's awesome. I haven't seen everybody. Actually, no, I've been seeing everybody quite frequently since we're doing a lot of press. But no, it's awesome. It's cool to see everybody out. When's the last time you saw them in person? Tanner I saw yesterday. He, was, he wasn't sleeveless. He was shirtless. Um, How would you rate his fit? His fit? Tanner, look at me. Yeah, I'd say it's a solid, like, nine and a half. Yeah, totally. We're rating your fit. Yeah. I gave you a, I gave you a nine and a half. How do you feel about that? Nine and a half? What? What do you mean? It's ten out of ten. You don't have 10. any chest hair. You should ask him about Lizzo. <laughs> How about Lizzo? I just learned who Lizzo was. I mean, I didn't know. I didn't know. I'm not very, I live under a rock. I don't. I don't, need to go. Go. I know. Go learn who Liz is. I don't have a lot of new music uh, coming into my life. Sholo and Tanner are educating me. See, I, I, my outfit gets a 10 out of 10 because we're educating him about Lizzo. There you, you go. have to educate him about Lizzo. How would you rate his fit? He gave you 9.5. Nice. There. Oh, with the fix. We got to fix it. There we go. All right. Nice. 10 out of 10. Oh, let's there go. After go. the fix-up. After the fix-up. <laughs> Deduct five for Liz not knowing Lizzo. Though. I know. Shoot. I'm sorry. I'm getting better at it, though. How long did it take you to get ready? Honestly, probably like 
minutes, 20 minutes. That's it? It took Tanner three and a half hours. Are you serious? Well, he's, got he's, the got a he's got the hair thing, you know. I'm, I'm way more low maintenance. They just slap me in a tight white t-shirt and throw me in a suit, so yeah. And now you have five seasons under your belt. So how do you feel about this new season coming out? I'm sorry, what was the last part? How do you feel about the new season coming out? Oh, the new season, I mean, it's sick. It's definitely the most, I'd say, brutal and bloody. So I'm excited people see a little bit more of like a harsher version of the show. But I mean, it's crazy. I can't believe it's been going on for this long. We started off on YouTube and now, you know, here we are. Here we are, all in LA, everybody's here. Yeah, we're here, it's hot, we're outside. I don't even really know where we are in LA. I just got shoved into a car and kicked out onto this carpet. Guys are here. With your fans, with your Guy, yeah, guys is here with a fan for me. This is my main man. But, and then they yeah. Top five. So top like five things. Okay, ready? Five. Top song right now. Oh. Kai Kai Kitan. Okay. It's, a, it's an anime opening. I'm outing myself. Damn it. Top show. Top show. New girl. I've been watching it a lot with my brother lately. I know. It's, I know, it's so cliche. Uh, top snack. Top what? Snack. Snack? Honestly, I love the black RX bars. They're so good. Yeah, Gianni and Sholo hate them and they give me for eating them. I know they're healthy, but they're just good. Let me eat the chocolate, please. It's too good. Uh, top celeb obsession. Are you obsessed with anybody right now? I wouldn't say I'm obsessed. I'd, I'd say I have a deep admiration for Ryan Gosling. I love Grey Man. I still have Place Beyond the Pines as like one of my favorite movies. Uh, Tanner and I were actually just talking about him in a different interview. You and Tanner, best friend. Yeah, well, yeah, you know, it's yeah, we're culminating a lifelong friendship. You know, our love of Ryan Gosling is bringing us together. And top product, one thing you can't live without. Product, um, you know what? I got bougie. My girlfriend got me into moisturizer, and I still don't know how to say it. Is it Shiseido? I think so, but I can't. I can't confirm. It's Shiseido moisturizer. Can't live without it now. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. And uh, did you? Are you wearing it tonight? My what? Or did you put on some tonight? Moisturizer. Oh yeah, I start every day off with my new moisturizer. It's great. I love it. Oh, congratulations. Yeah, thank, thank you so, so much. much. Good to see you.